What's up everyone? So today is actually our one year anniversary for living in Arizona. Last year on July 9th, Dan and I moved from Colorado to Arizona. And I remember it was like eight o'clock at night and it was really hot, it was like 110 degrees. And I just felt like, ah, we're home. Um, Cause I lived in Colorado my whole life and I just needed a change. I definitely needed a change of environment um, after 2020 and all that you know, crazy stuff that was going on. I didn't like the vibe in Colorado at that time. And really, I just needed a change from having lived there my entire life. So moving is something I've always wanted to do. And I wasn't sure where I wanted to move, but I had a, a few different cities and states in mind. And we, um, we ended up choosing Arizona. So. We absolutely love it. I just thought, oh, today's our one year anniversary. Like, how cool is that? And I remember like driving in. So we, we drove over a two day period. We stopped in Albuquerque halfway and then we um, finished the trip. And I just remember like pulling into the street where our, our rental house was. It was this really amazing vacation rental house. And like everything on that street was beautifully lit up at night. You could see the palm trees. You could see like just all of the the front lawns were so beautiful and like clean. And um, I guess the, the bushes were like manicured, whatever they call it. And it was very inspiring rolling up into that neighborhood and that street. And we didn't even look at the house that we were going to rent. Dan just found it online somewhere. And we're like, the pictures look good. Pricing is great. Let's just go for it. And so we didn't even inspect it first before renting there. So it was this huge leap of trust in the universe, in God. And then when we opened the door for the first time, we're like, oh my God, this is so beautiful, like spacious um an open like split floor plan so the master bedroom was way on this side and everything else was way on that side and was just so beautiful and i remember just being inspired by that and i'm like i want to own a house like this like we we're gonna go for this so yeah that was that was a year ago and we were there for three months and it just went by so fast and we had to find a, a different home because the, the house itself wasn't available long term. I've been watching this house online and they list it like half of the year for like three months at a time. So I'm guessing it's somebody that maybe um, they, they leave Arizona during the summer months to avoid the heat and then they come back because um, they don't let you just rent it for like a, a year at a time. Otherwise, I would be like, oh, sign me up for a year, two years. <laughs> so. Yeah, it was an amazing house. And I just want to say something about like putting yourself in an environment that you love can go such a long way for changing your life. Like for me, I've really discovered that I'm a person that I love beautiful things. I love beauty. I love harmony. I love order. And there's certain things or certain environments that inspire like this, this deep, sense of beauty and satisfaction in me. And I mean, even just walking down a certain street versus a different street, I can feel I'm like, wow, this street feels really spacious and open and beautiful. And this street feels a little weird. I don't like that. So I'm very sensitive to energy so I can pick up things and I'm sensitive to how things are arranged. But putting yourself in an environment that you love, that is beautiful to you, that feels right to you. I mean, my, my business has exploded since moving to Arizona. My income is the highest it's ever been two years in a row. And I mean, everything is just better. Like my whole life is better, just everything. And I 100% attribute that to putting myself in the right environment. So if you're in a place where you don't absolutely love it, you know, either change something in your place where you're living, like add something beautiful, add a decoration, clean it up, whatever you need to do to make it something that you love, or just move, move to a better place, move to a place that inspires you. I think there's something really empowerful about living in a place that inspires you.